بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لیڈیز اینڈ جینٹلمین السلام علیکم فرسٹ آف آل آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو تھینک دا آرگنائزرس آف دا نائنتھ نشان فورل آن ورلڈ سولائزیشنس فار انوائٹنگ می اینڈ گرانٹنگ می دا پرولیج آف ایڈریسنگ دس پرسٹیجیس کانفرنس دا ٹاپک دیٹ آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو ایکسپاؤنڈ اپاؤن is the pursuit of the common values of humanity and new challenges in today's world. I would briefly delineate some of the significant human values which are necessary to combat the formidable challenges that the world confronts today, along with underlining some key factors that contribute to their emergence. Moreover, I would also try to shed light on some potential solutions that highlight the significance of the common human values which I firmly believe have the inherent capacity to bind the humanity and foster the development of a more equitable and just global order. Ladies and gentlemen, humanity today is confronted with a multitude of novel challenges which are the outcome of complex and interconnected factors. Some of the most significant challenges that currently this humanity grapples with are growing terrorism, intolerance and violence, human rights violation, wars and military conflicts, shifting geopolitical dynamics, environmental degradation, resource depletion, poverty and hunger and global health crisis. These challenges transcend traditional boundaries and demand a more interdisciplinary and nascent approach for their comprehension and resolution. These challenges are not only intrinsically interconnected but also have profound impact. Yes, Ladies and gentlemen, Another deeply cherished human value is the unwavering commitment to upholding and respecting fundamental human rights. One of the pressing global concerns in the contemporary world is the violation of the human rights, which stems from multiple factors. These violations encompass a wide range of abuses, especially in the underdeveloped and developing countries, such as unequal and unjust distribution of resources, oppression of the marginalized groups, economic disparities, and restrictions on freedom of expression. There is an urgent need to strengthen the rule of law, ensuring accountability, good governance, and inculcating respect for human rights at both level, local as well as global, which could be achieved through adherence to international human rights conventions, along with grassroots activism and education to raise awareness of masses to empower them to defend their rights. Justice, ladies and gentlemen, is an other essential and basic human value that plays a pivotal role in addressing human rights violation and abuses. In the world dominated by injustice and human rights violation, we need strong legal systems, international tribunals, and accountability mechanism to ensure that justice is served indiscriminately to all the human beings. Similarly, equality, another significant human value, is needed much more than before in the contemporary world to address issues such as economic inequality, discrimination, and lack of access to basic needs which plague humanity. Different governments, civil society institutions, and international organizations should initiate consolidated efforts to ensure equal distribution of resources, eliminate discriminatory policies, and provide equal opportunities for all. These collaborative endeavors can pave the way for a more equitable and just global society, transcending borders and nurturing the well-being of all its inhabitants. Peace is a fundamental and universally cherished human value that transcends cultural, geographical, and ideological boundaries. It creates a state of harmony 
security and well-being that enables individuals and human societies to flourish. However, the ongoing wars and military conflicts across the globe stand as stark reminders of the fragility of peace. These conflicts not only result in loss of life and widespread suffering, but also disrupt econ economies, displace populations and social and political divisions. They shatter the very foundation upon which societies are built, hindering pros progress of humanity. To honor the value of peace, it is imperative for nations, leaders, and individuals to prioritize diplomacy, conflict resolution, and the promotion of non-violent means of addressing disputes. Peace should be viewed as an active pursuit through dialogue, cooperation, and respect for international law. I have firm faith that by fostering a culture of peace where differences are addressed through dialogue and conflicts are resolved through negotiation, can we hope to create a world where the enduring human value of peace is upheld and cherished. Ladies and gentlemen, I would also like to draw your attention towards the significant challenge of environmental degradation. Humanity is at a critical juncture in its collective efforts to combat environmental degradation and safeguard our planet for future generations. Addressing these challenges requires a concerted global response that transcends borders, ideologies, and individual interests. First and foremost, I would say that international cooperation is of paramount importance. Nations must come together to formulate and implement comprehensive environmental policies and agreements that tackle issues such as climate change, deforestation, and pollution. Similarly, awareness campaign can also play a crucial role to save the planet. Individual actions can play a crucial role in this regard. People worldwide can contribute towards environmental well-being by adopting sustainable lifestyles, reducing their carbon footprints, conserving resources, and supporting environmentally responsible business. Awareness and educational campaigns can further mobilize individuals to make informed choices and advocate for environmental protection. We must recognize the interdependence between humanity and the natural world and realize our collective responsibility to protect and preserve the planet's ecosystems for our present and future generations. Ladies and gentlemen, poverty, hunger, and global health crisis are interrelated challenges that have profound and far-reaching effects on the world today. These issues not only inflict suffering on individuals and communities, but also undermine global stability and economic development. Poverty remains a persistent barrier to human well-being, limiting access to education, healthcare, and economic opportunities. It perpetuates a cycle of deprivation and hinders social mobility and economic growth. Poverty also contributes to social unrest and political instability, posing risks to peace and security. Hunger is both a symptom and a cause of poverty. Malnutrition and food insecurity affect millions impairing physical and cognitive development and reducing productivity. Global health crisis, exemplified by the COVID-19 pandemic, expose vulnerabilities in healthcare system and threaten lives on a massive scale. These crises highlighted, highlight the need for robust healthcare infrastructure, equitable access to vaccines and treatments 
and international collaboration in disease prevention and response. Global health crisis necessitates investment in resilient healthcare system and equitable access to healthcare. International cooperation is vital to address emerging health threats and ensure that vaccines and treatment, treatments are available to all. So, building a healthier, more equal world for future generation requires a holistic commitment to addressing poverty, hunger, and global health crisis. International collaboration, responsible governance, and sustainable practices are pivotal in addressing these challenges and fostering a brighter and more equitable future for the human race. Concluding my speech, I would say towards the end, I would like to assert that the common values of humanity, such as tolerance, respect for human dignity, rule of law, freedom of expression, compassion, freedom, justice, and equality offer a powerful framework for addressing the multifaceted challenges facing the world today. Embracing and promoting these values at individual, societal, and international levels can pave the way for a more just, equitable, and peaceful global community. There is an urgent need to have collaborative efforts and actions among various governments, humanitarian organizations, international networks, higher education institutions, media groups, and non-governmental organizations, etc. It's only through serious, collective, transnational efforts and shared human values that we could devise strategies and action plans to overcome these global challenges for the development of a more prosperous, peaceful, and healthier world for our future generations. I thank you all.